Let us begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take a moment to acknowledge our sins, so that we may prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. We will now recite the glory. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to his people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your church may consistently watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginnings you entrusted to to his faithful care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Samuel. The Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go tell my servant David, when the time comes and you rest with your when the time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise you up their heir. I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins. I will make his kingdom firm. It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm, the Son of David will live forever. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my king kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. The Son of David will live forever. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. Forever will I confirm your prosperity and establish your throne for all generations. The son of David will live forever. He shall say to me, you are my father, my God, the rock, my savior. Forever I will maintain his kindness toward him and my covenant with him stands firm. The son of David will live forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, it was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants, that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that comes from faith. For this reason it depends on faith, so that it may be a gift, that and promise and promise may be guaranteed to his descendants, not to those who only adhere to the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, who is the father of all of us, as it is written, I have made you father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead, who calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations, according to what was said. Thus shall be your descendants be. That is why it was created, credited to him 
as righteousness. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who was called the Christ. Now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took his wife into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the Feast of St. Joseph, which is an opportunity for us to reflect on his life and his obedience. Now, throughout sacred scripture, we don't see anything where St. Joseph said much of anything, but it was his action that spoke louder than words. We, too, should live by the same example that he has laid out for us. Our actions should speak louder than the words in which we speak. Sometimes we talk too much and people ignore what it is that we have to say. But when we go out and do the will of the Lord through our action, many people take note and follow up that same example. Let us profess our faith through the creed. I believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for as men for our salvation, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess the baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With one heart, let us offer our prayers to the Lord. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may the Holy Spirit bless him as he shares Joseph's life of faith and obedience to God, we pray to the Lord. For all who are in leadership positions in our country and throughout the world, may God encourage them in their decision-making to help them meet the needs of their people, we pray to the Lord. For those who deal with chronic illness, may Christ, the healer, bring them relief, give them the strength they need to endure, we pray to the Lord. For our family, for our faith, for our families and our faith community, may the Holy Family intercede for them in all their needs. We pray to the Lord. For those who have died, may they rejoice in, with St. Joseph in the community of saints in the heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. For those who are affected by this disease that, or the virus that is going around of COVID-19, may we pray for those who are suffering from it and those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. And for all the intentions we now hold deeply in the silence of our heart. We 
pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we offer these prayers of gratitude for all that you have done for us. We ask that you hear them and answer them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We pray, O Lord, that just as St. Joseph served with love and care, your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so we may be worthy to minister with pure heart at your altar. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation and always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the solemnity of St. Joseph, you, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you, and to bless you. For this just man was given by you as a spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and to set a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those of us who are not able to receive Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, let us pray the prayer of a spiritual communion, which is found in the description below. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and united myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Defend with unfailing protection, O Lord, we pray, the family you have nourished with food from this altar, as they rejoice at the solemnity of St. Joseph, and graciously keep safe your gifts among them, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. <laughs>